in exile from their home in Belarus as their son was. Natalia and Dmitry Protasevich pled with the world's leaders to save his life. Save my child, hear the cry of my soul, see a mother's tears, she said. The only glimpse of Roman Protasevich has come from what friends call a hostage video released by Belarusian authorities where he admits to organizing protests. His parents say he was obviously beaten before making it. Speaking with difficulty, his father said his son has always displayed honesty, justice and openness. Belarus's strongman ruler Alexander Lukashenko used a fake bomb threat to divert Protasevich's Ryan Air flight to Minsk, where he was arrested. Protasevich ran a social media channel that helped draw huge crowds to anti-Lukashenko rallies. European nations have been fast to denounce the Belarusian dictator, suspending flights to Belarus and working on a plan to restrict trade too. Anatol Kotau used to work in Lukashenko's administration, but he quit last year after rigged elections ended in violence. He told us the only way to force Lukashenko out is to starve the regime of money. Lukashenko's economy cannot survive without external financing. And cutting off the sources of income, of course, will shorten his days. Russia is Belarus's only real friend, and its state TV has been trying to smear Protasevich by saying he's a Nazi, because in these photos he's seen wearing the uniform of a right-wing militia. His friends say he was simply a journalist embedded on an assignment. His exhausted parents said these would be their last words for a while. Hold on, son, we love you, and we'll get you out. Chris Brown, CBC News, Moscow.